Hello everybody, it's the Funkaholic and I have come to you tonight, not to sing, but to open a BAM box. I have had this for two days. It's been next to me, I put it on the table, I've walked around looking, at it. I've shook, sh I've shaked it a million times. Now, I finally get to open it. And guess what? I can't find my scissors. But I am bound and determined, because I come from hardy stock, <laughs> that I am going to open this box. So it just has this one little thing on it. How hard can that be? I don't know where my scissors went. Oh. Got like a little in way. Ah, I think I got it. Ah. Okay, so I will let you look first because everybody does this. I don't know why. I would rather see first, but that's what it is. I don't even know actually what box it is. I just like somebody had one and I, they have, you know, we're talking about it and I wanted one. So I went and bought one and here it is. Bam box horror. <laughs> okay. Okay. Calm down. Bam box horror. Oh, this is so awesome. Okay. Okay. Well, that was $25 well spent. <laughs> I got paper. All right. Stop fooling around. What do I take first? How about this? You, you know I review movies, right? Oh, I got a 10 out of 10 here. Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. They charge an arm and a leg. <laughs> I totally have to get that put on one of my jackets. Okay, so I know that's worth like $5 right there. Oh, oh, here's a pen. I collect pens too. Oh, oh my goodness. I love this. This is, can, do you, Tell me who it is. One, two, three. It is the little girl who died in the basement in Night of the Living Dead and then killed her mother with the hatchet, which was really, really stupid because all she had to do was bite her. Kids, never teach them anything. <laughs> so, so far, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to show you this one next. There's only three more things in here. This is, oh, Fright Night. This is from Fright Night. It has a little, um, so this could come in handy here in the woods. Back. I can't really read. It says Fright Night back some I don't know maybe somebody there can read it tell me what it says but it's very cool and there's a place in the back for me to hang it and I actually have some um, uh, crosses hanging around the, the house here and there because that's just what who I am so this is very cool I love it okay two more things and I don't know, they have a certificate of authenticity. This is so cool. Okay, so this is certificate of authenticity. This Bambox Horror Fan Art Collection, art 
collection art print, Pennywise, has been hand signed by artist James Bus Busima and is guaranteed to be authentic. Um, yeah. And his signature is right. It's hard to see, but it's right there. This is badass right here. And this is the signet the certificate of authenticity. Oh my gosh, this is like frameable. This is this is like a true piece of art. And you know it's really cute. I don't know if you can see it, but it says it. I T. If you just like cover this, it says it. I think that's really clever. Okay, actually there's another print. Oh. Uh, it's Donnie Darko. Whose signature is it? This 8x10 Frank the Bunny photo has been hand signed by James Duval, who played Frank the Bunny in the Donnie Darko movie. It was signed during a private signing with the Bambox. How awesome is that? Wow, this, this box was very worth my while. This alone would probably cost what I paid for the whole box. And then this is, while it may not be as expensive as this would be, it's certainly as, um, has the value to me because I absolutely love it. It, as in Pennywise, and it as a movie, and it as a as a um, piece of art. I, I love art. I have um, some, my aunt was a big art person, and while I only t ever took one art appreciation class, she spent summers taking me to like some of the best art galleries on the West Coast, and we had so much fun. I don't know if, um, I thought I had a little booklet. You know, the only thing I miss is a t-shirt. I want a t-shirt. I want a zombie t-shirt. I guess I'll buy myself one. That's okay. They did enough. This I love. Bam Horror, limited edition enamel pins. Doesn't say limited to what. Um, it's a it's a promo pin, girl promo. Anyways, yeah, it's that little girl who kills her mom. Doesn't even know she has the ability to kill her with her mouth. She uses a hatchet. This is precious. Hollywood chainsaw hookers. They charge an arm and a leg. I know that must be a great movie. Oh, okay. So, um, BAM is books a million. If you go online and you wanna, um, you know, they sell pop, um, pops and they have boxes like this and others. Oh, um, let's see. So, Oh, they're coming to get you, Barbara. So there apparently were two, two pins you can get from Dirty Girl Promo. It seems like I was looking online at, at pins from her one time, and you couldn't get them. You just, they, they were always gone. Um, we recently lost the legendary George Romero creator of The Night of the Living Dead. We wanted to dedicate our first pin set to him and this, um, and this incredible franchise. And at Dirty Girl Promo was the perfect artist to do it. Look out for a couple limited edition variants number, numbered out of 250 and 50. 
So the pin I got, there's only 50 of these pins. Now in, in Disney pin speak, <laughs> that would be like, cha-ching! <laughs> Because there aren't too many pins that are legitimate pins that actually are only 50 made. So, um, this is, there's another one that says they're going to get you, Barbara, that is limited to 250 pins. I need that pin. If anybody out there wants to sell theirs or trade it for a pop or something, I would love to have it. I might have some cash. I'm not sure. I have to look in the bank. One of those weekends. Um, okay, the Chainsaw Hooker Fan Art Collection Patch. Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers is a 1988 American comedy horror B-movie starring, starring Gun Gunnar Hansen and Linnea Quigley. Um, I think Gunnar, if I'm not mistaken, Gunnar played... The original Leatherface, and you know why I know that because my daughter went to a a convention and had a a photo um, of him signed, and she sent it to me. She got a photo signed and sent it to me because she knows I love that. Thank you, thank you. So that's who I think Gunnar Henson is. Linnea Quigley is like the scream queen. She was in Return of the Living Dead. Um, she was in uh, Demons, Night of the Demons, which is one of, if you haven't seen the original, they remade it and of course screwed it all up. If you haven't seen the original um, Night of the Demons, you totally have to go, have to um, bring it up. It's, um, it's an amazingly scary movie. And of course there's just in any scary movie, they have to give you a break. So there's some, uh, my hair is not dry yet. It takes it forever, and it's itching me. So um, it features just what you think it would, a gang of chainsaw-wielding prostitutes who hack people up for their cult. Naturally, we had to make an iron-on patch for it. <laughs> who owns an iron anymore? Raise your hands. Yeah, me either. Then the Donnie Darko... The Donnie Darko, uh, why are you wearing that stupid man suit in a very rare private signing? Bam! Horror is proud to showcase James Duvall, who played Frank the Bunny in Donnie Darko. In the movie that left us wondering what we just saw, nobody stood out or haunted our dreams quite like Donnie's friend Frank. Most will get assigned 8 by 10 while some will get a special metallic print that is signed and numbered. Oh, we we just got the eight by 10, but you know what? You know what? I'm just as happy as can be with it. Okay, Fright Night Vampire Kit. It's a vampire kit. <laughs> I don't think it'll work in these, uh, um, with the vampires these days, because they pretty much nothing gets them. Uh, back Spawn of Satan. The iconic words spoken by Peter Vincent before he realized just what kind of trouble he was in. Fright Night is a classic vampire film about a teenager who learns that his next door neighbor is a vampire and no one will believe him. <laughs> Do they ever? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And how better to get rid of vampires than with a cross and glow in the dark rosary combo? There you go. Let me see if I can see what it says on here. I had, you know, my mind is gone, but I I lose everything. I lose everything. So whatever, it's it's a cool, you know, it's cool to have. Okay, hi kids. It fan art collection on print by artist James Bus Busima. Busima. We are excited to have artist James Busima as the kickoff artist for the BAM Horror Box. And who better than Pennywise to start to start us off? 
some of you will receive a one card, a one up card, and get the grayscale variant numbered out of only 250. That means you have received a version with a very limited edition, limited release. James is an incredible artist, and this quickly became one of our favorite prints we have ever put in a band, band box. So the one up system says, did you get a one up card? And it has this little guy right here, a one up card. I did not. I want my one up card. <laughs> I just, I couldn't be happier, really and truly. Um, so, oh, contest. Win this Linda Blair signed 11 by 17 exorcist print inscribed Reagan for BAM, for BAM, horror subscribers only. In order to enter, just go to the BAM community page and follow the instructions to enter. So if you want to enter, just Google BAM exclamation point or books a million and look around there and you'll find it. Next month's franchises. I love this. I'm going to get this every month. We are excited to announce the franchises for the BAM Horror Box for the month of October. Oh, this is September's box. Uh, the Shining Trick or Treat. Oh, ah. You know, the little movie that um, that nobody, you know, really paid any attention to is now like this big deal. Halloween, Christine, 1408. Oh, that's a scary movie. Rabbit in Red and Blood Feast. We can't wait for you to get the October box. Also, we are going to be doing an incredible Friday the 13th giveaway for anyone who's, who is subscribed to the October box. Keep a lookout for it on the community page at thebambox.com forward slash community. I give this box out of five stars. I can think of no other number than five. Five out of five. And, and I'll tell you what I love, well, besides this, this pen, which there's only 50 of them in the whole world. I love that. Absolutely love it. And these two prints, one is an, one is an up and coming young author, um, painter, artist, and the other is from an iconic um, actor who we never really got to see just just him and now now we have his signature with a special uh print from bam and they both have these this this is wonderful i would encourage everybody who loves scary movies to go over there to bam like i shall i don't i don't know if you have to resubscribe every month i don't know but I will be subscribing. I will be getting another box. So if you just want to see it, then subscribe to my, let's see, it's nice. And yeah, when it, I had no idea it was like that. I'm glad I didn't open it until it was time to um, show you guys the box and what was in it, because that's pretty cool, pretty badass. So if you too, would like to be registered or um, subscribe if you would like to subscribe to my channel please hit the red little red button uh, and then hit notifications so whenever I do a video and it publishes you will get a little notification saying that you know Funkaholic has has, has um what is going on there we go um that Funkaholic has uh, published a new um, has published a new video, and you should come here and see it, and then like the video if if you like it. It really helps us out as um, content makers if you um, 
like the video, then number one, we know that we're on the right track. And number two, it helps us. I'm, I'm not sure how it helps us with uh, within YouTube, but I, I know it does. So I have three, three more loose Funkos and another Funko box. And I'm going to make another video right now. I wanted to keep this one separate because um, I one time I did all of them crammed together plus a box and it was just, uh, it was a mess. So that's what I'm going to do. But if you subscribe and, and uh, hit um, notifications and then like this video, and also this is very important, put um, a comment down below. It can be anywhere from why is your hair all wet, which because I just got out of the shower, that's why. Or it could be I love the box. It could be um, anything. Just just as long as you're on there and I know how to reach you because as soon as I get to 50, yes, five zero, I know, sad, huh? <laughs> as soon as I get to 50 subscribers, I have a big bunch of um, pops and they're not just, they, they aren't only commons. They are, I have some, right now I'm looking at a Pennywise, the first one. Of course, people are calling it a common. That <laughs> doesn't look too common to me. And I've got like three that are um, uh, from this past Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con. Oh gosh, I can see a Maleficent, glow in the dark Maleficent. I can see, I can see all kinds of things um, in almost every genre over there. And I will get with you. We can maybe VC, and I will show you everything that I have that is that is for uh, up for a prize and you can pick two of what you want so it'll be one person who gets two pops any of that stack two pops so this is the funkaholic and i am going away now because i've got to publish this um but i don't, I don't know if i'll publish it maybe i'll probably just um i'll probably just do the other one and then i'll publish them together How's that sound? Hmm? Okay, that's what I'll do. All right, people, have a great Sunday night. And um, I'm doing a little hunt tomorrow because my husband has to go into the city, which I really, really, really hate. But it keeps me going because I know once the doctor's appointments are over, we can go hunt Topic and GameStop. <laughs> and GameStop. He tried to steal my box. Um, it'll all be there. So I'll have that for you too. So love you guys. Bye.